I can say that we are announcing today that the Justice Department is going into Ferguson and St. Louis and investigate policing in both departments as a result of the pressure that has been put on. And we're going to stay on this case in Ferguson and Staten Island and L.A. and Baton Rouge and all over the country. But we need it with the National Baptist Convention's active support. One of the reasons, Mr. President, the Justice Department is going in is something that few will understand when they see the announcement tonight. Many years ago in the state of Alabama, there was a young man and a young woman that only sought their higher education. They went to the University of Alabama, and as they approached the door, the governor was standing blocking the door. The governor's name was George Wallace. He turned back that young black woman and that young black man. They were told they were not allowed to go to school there. They threatened them. Their family was threatened. That young girl's little sister was traumatized and had to receive counseling to get her through some of her teen years. But as the years went by and her sister was allowed to go to that school, she grew and became a doctor. She married a young lawyer and they practiced in Washington, D.C. And that young girl, the sister-in-law, the first black girl to walk past George Wallace in the University of Alabama. That young girl's sister married a young lawyer who today is the Attorney General of the United States. And that young man, Eric Holder, is going into Ferguson as the first black Attorney General of the United States, sent by the first black President of the United States. We marched, we suffered, we went to jail, we elected an Obama, they're trying to take the vote back in many states around this country with voter ID and in the early, ending early voting, but nobody gave us the right to vote. We fought to get it, we're going to fight to keep it. It was not a gift, it was earned with blood, it was earned with nights in jail. We come too far to turn around now. We got to stand up and hold up and not bow down. If we're faithful over a few things, if we hold on through the night, God will, God will, God will make a way for us children.